Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you midweek here. In the first week of October. Let's see what we got going on today. This is my favorite uh, chart right here, this S&P chart. This is a daily, sort of daily trend line. It just nips through this guy here. Uh, comes in today at 21.50. So, if you're a break trader uh, on these kind of lines, which I am, um, you'll be selling this thing through uh, 21.50 today, or if you want to be cautious, you can sell it through yesterday's low, which was 17.50, which then opens up uh, an attack on uh, 29.07, which is uh, what we call five star. Uh, so, while it's above this line, um, you don't want to be short, right? This is a supporting line. This is an upward trend and higher lows, sometimes higher highs. But um, breaking that line is interesting. So if it breaks, don't miss it. Euro is just messing about. Uh, took out some shorts last night up to 94. Not much to say here. Uh, BTPs are still uh, on their knees. We're going to go through 120 today, so I do think this is a sell. Uh, the market is a bit short after one, two, three, four, five days. We did not hold below the important 115.25 yesterday, um, so I'm expecting a, you know a range today. We could we could pop up to 116 and a quarter, um, but this is a sell-on rally. This Italian story is here. Uh, it's not going away. And this is bad for the Euro. Euro-Yen, same song. Traded up to 131.98. Uh, same high there. 132. Here we are back at 60. What we're really looking for is a daily close below um, this 200 day. Yesterday we couldn't manage it. Um, but again, the specter of uh, Italian deficits uh, is going to be hanging around, sort of like a bad smell here. So um, I do think this has some downside, further downside to go. Also, if stocks do turn, if they turn, uh, this will put some more downward pressure on Euro yen. Aussie yen. Uh, had the bearish engulfing yesterday and much less of a bounce up to 93. So annoying. We, we were, yeah, we had offers at 95 last night. <coughs> they obviously did not get done. Um, this now looks like it's going to make an attack on this 8130 level. Uh, short Aussie yen looks okay. And this is the story here. This is more that RBA is just on hold. And China looks like they might be fucked. Finally, real quick, uh, our old friend Dollar Czar. Pretty, pretty good bullish day yesterday. Uh, now we're setting this thing up uh, a little bit of a triple top here at uh, 1445. I could easily see some sort of sideways action today. I haven't looked at the calendar uh, for South Africa today. Uh, what we're trying to do is get an excellent average so we can go into the budget uh, on the 23rd short rand with the idea that um, they're going to fuck that up. That's about it. A uh, little bit tired very late night last night uh, playing squash uh, in another city here in, in Switzerland so uh, a little bit jaded this morning our focus is going to be on this Aussie yen uh, Aussie yen shorts and we're going to try and find a good place to uh, resell some euro yen as well good luck out there people talk to you soon ciao